Welcome back, my fellow duplicates, to Oxygen Not Included. Today we're going to be doing an efficiency experiment. It's going to be really interesting. Now that we have these new reports over here where we can see the amount of chores that were completed, the amount of different time people are spending to do stuff, we can get some interesting analytics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this exact same base here, which is the getting started in Oxygen Not Included, uh, where it's at currently in the game. So I've saved a separate file a little an extra tree here and what we're going to do is we're going to run the same uh, couple of cycles over a couple different times and then we're going to as we change a single variable okay so what i've done here is i've saved off a separate tree to the getting started in oxygen not included series right here which is kind of a guide or tutorial for getting into the game you know and working through some of the the problems that we all deal with but how this experiment is going to run is i've queued up a bunch of different things to be built i've kind of got an exosuit pod up there i mean we've got some pipes here that we're going to make we got a little puddle thingamabob down there i'm just building more stuff down here d doing different tasks around the map that should at least queue up my 10 duplicates for a, a full cycle here there's also a lot of digging that's going to happen over there and what we'll do is I'm going to run like doors closed versus doors open. The fire poles will be here or if they're removed, if the floor tile is normal versus plastic. So it's a fairly simple experiment. And then we're going to take all of that data and graph it. Yeah. Okay, so here's the four different variables that we're going to run here. We got the doors closed versus doors open versus the fire pole being there for them to use. Uh, versus plastic tile and what we're hopefully going to see here is a trend that you know will allow us to know which one's making the biggest difference from our control and our control is going to be door closed once we know this we might know what the biggest benefits where, where they're coming from okay so here's our control I've already gotten rid of all of the ladders here the thing I want to make sure that I'm I'm checking just so you guys know that I'm checking it is that I'm not inserting more stuff that needs to be swept because that could throw off all our numbers so this material here will drop down that'll become a task for them to do uh, when I go to add in the ladder that's when I'll bring it back in and it'll be overlaid over the top of the iron ore when I go to remove this ladder and convert it into a plastic I will sweep up all the material that that comes off of this ladder same with the tiles. I'll do the exact same thing there. Just try to be as careful as possible so I get the best possible numbers. All right, so here we go. Everybody's dancing off. We're going to see just how efficient they are. Okay, so the reason I chose this map specifically is because there, there's two good things. One, it's not too big so that this test isn't just straight up overwhelming. Uh, you make it too big, it's easy to make mistakes. The second thing is this gives us a really good insight for those of us that are actually doing the whole get it to, uh, following the series here, which is getting started in oxygen not included, um, as far as what things we can do here to really optimize my current base up here. So that should be some really good advice that we get out of that. Taking a look at our reports here, you can see that uh, we've already removed about 270 something right there. Travel time is only at 23%, so that's pretty good. That's going to be the big number right there, travel time. It's like travel time and impact. So from the, this first test, I'm going to see just how far these dupes get, and then I'll determine, okay, is it going to be one cycle, two cycles, or a three-cycle test? I'm thinking two at best. At that point, they'll probably end up idling a bunch. Just so you know, enable proximity. Enable the hand Enable proximity is turned on for these duplicates. So I'm not going to test that one in this experiment just yet. We can do a whole jobs and what they're actually doing experiment. And that'll be another one. That'll be a whole different video. Okay, so in that cycle right there, you can see in the previous cycle, that was 436 things done. Travel time was 43%. Great. How'd you manage that? You, I, I can see a way out for you. Hello? Why, why can't you move? Oh, of course there's a problem. Start over. There isn't even anything to do over here. How did you... Oh my gosh, these dupes. Yeah, this is going to be a real riveting test. Yeah, let's just watch the same cycle over and over again. Okay, is anybody getting lost this time? Anybody stuck? 
Nope. Nope. Not stuck this time. Ha ha. I'll have you know that this video was inspired by Joey Ollie's comment over here on the new Discord channel. By the way, that just went live over this last weekend. At the same time, I announced that this is now my full-time job. Over 200 of you guys joined the Discord channel. Link in the description below, by the way. So, um... I'm definitely still reading the comments down below and everything. This just all helps everything connect together a little bit. Tons of conversations going on. So he says right here, when you do the new dupe analysis thing, definitely try the before and afters, ladders versus ladders, poles and plastic and all that stuff right there. So that's exactly, you know, I wasn't thinking of that beforehand, but you know, one little comment changes the way you think about things. Boom. Yeah. So nobody's gone idle just yet. So we're still good through cycle 162 we're into 163 halfway through it is anybody stuck <laughs> no <laughs> all right so there is the end of cycle 163 you can see how far we got right there so yes that's perfect there's still a few things left to do but we'd probably run out of work just you know in the next cycle or so so that way if we increase the efficiency maybe we end up getting all the way to idle hmm we'll see hopefully not Okay, so now that I have some numbers here, what I need to do is go back through and run the same two cycles again to see if I get the same numbers. If it's repeatable, then we're in good shape. Moment of truth. Uh-oh. They're not entirely repeatable. <laughs> okay, so this is test two of the control. We're at the end of 163. We dug out over there, we dug up up there, we kind of built some more pipes that time. Yeah, so the dupes movement is kind of random. They're not they're not making the exact same choices, I guess. Let's see how the reports total out though over the two days. Well then, <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> if we compare this number here, 846, compared to this one, which was 778, I didn't change anything between these two tests. All right, I'm looking at the clock. I'm looking at how many tests I got to do. Um, how deep down the rabbit hole do we want to go? Best of three on all of them. That's 15 tests. Man, am I going to have fun tonight. And another one in the bag. Let's see where these reports are, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so I got some numbers over there. Now I gotta go ahead and uh, come in here and change the doors to open, uh, except for the ones that are like over here. <laughs> you know, the ones that actually make sense to open up, not the ones that are actually trying to hold back dangerous areas. Okay, perfect, all the doors are open. So I just finished up my second test here with the doors open and I'm seeing an interesting trend start to form here first off i don't think chores removed is going to be a good category to track as you can see chores removed was 801 versus 807 so mm, i don't know about that however travel time here you can see that it was two percent um, less and work time was a few percent higher things are being averaged by the way so now i'm going to move on to the fire pole pretty simple and just in case you're curious, I'm building off of the first test here, so these doors are now closed again. I'm not stacking up the changes that I'm making. Each one's its own variable. All right, so it's time for the plastic tile test. I'm only going to replace the ones that they're, they're going to be running on. Uh, insulated ones like this right there, I'm not going to change, and I'm also going to leave the air flows the way they are. All right, there we go. Plastic, 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 plastic. <laughs> this was so tedious. <laughs> this whole experiment. Woo! That was so long, it's the next day. But have I got some data for you. Shwing! All right, so let's take a look here at this data. And I'm going to tell you right off the bat here is that I don't necessarily know exactly what what is important and what all is happening here. I'm going to need your input down there and <laughs> and we'll try to make sense of this as we move forward into bigger and more interesting experiments. But if we look at just kind of my my 
control up here, which was the door closed, slow ladders, slow tiles. There's actually a big range between the amount of chores removed, right? So it's 846 all the way down to 778. Uh, that averages out to 807. If we look at the averages across all of the different chores removed, they're all about the same, 807, 801, uh, and then we had 809 down there. So those were a little bit higher. But if you look down at the plastic stuff, like the plastic tiles and the plastic ladders, the chores removed, you know, the range is only from 803 to 812. Or from plastic tiles, we have 805 to 817. So there's less of a range when we the dupes are able to move faster. I don't know if that's significant or not. But that's about the only usable information I'm able to get out of chores removed currently. Work time and travel time are always like this, and then personal time is the same in every single test with zero idle time. So I just focused directly on travel time. Now even within this, there was still about a 2% variation. I simply cannot pick out any sort of trend as far as this experiment goes. I mean, some cycles were just better than others. <laughs> okay, so when we take all of this data and we start to compare it, our control up here, which is door closed, we had 43.5% of our cycle on average spent traveling around. Once we got to doors open, which is a really easy thing to do, you can just click on stuff, click open, they don't have to wait for the door, that gained us 1.5% of the cycle right there. So across all of our duplicates, we saved 90 seconds. So that's a really good result for a very cheap thing that you can do inside your base. With fire poles, we we're only able to, on, on our delta was only 0.83%. So... The fire poles was only worth 50 extra seconds over our control. Now, plastic tile is expensive to make, but it's fairly easy to set up because you can just like paint on over the other tiles. That was worth the most at 2.67%, which gave our duplicates an extra 160 seconds in this cycle. And remember, every second saved is another second worked. Take that, dupes. Get back to work! Now, plastic ladders are still quite expensive, but unfortunately, they're a little bit harder to set up than the tiles because you kind of like deconstruct the ladder right now and then put the plastic over it. It's kind of a pain in the butt. That is worth 2.17% of, of the time traveled, at least in my base. If you have a ton of ladder and the dupes are really going up and down a long ways, it could be worth more. So based on those results right there, we can see, yeah, they, you know, each one of those makes a small difference. It's not huge though, but then again, this base isn't all that huge. So there's definitely a lot more to be had than just simply changing what materials you're building things out of in order to make your dupes more efficient. The next step here is to put this all together and see if I actually get what I'm going to predict here, which is going to be an extra 7% of, of work time. So our travel time should reduce down to around 37%. So let's load it up one last time. All right, so I'm just wrapping up the last bit of this testing here, and I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been helped supporting this channel here. As of last Saturday, I announced that this is going to be my job, and you guys have stepped up in a big way. Uh, so thank you to everybody that's talking about how they're going to disable Adblock for a little bit. That's all. That's what they're going to be doing. There's also people that have stepped up on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. You guys are going the extra mile to really help out this channel. Thank you. I'm going to work hard, and I'm going to try to earn every bit of it and I really look forward to seeing where we can go from here in 2019. So let's get back to the spreadsheet, tally up the results, and see what's going on here. See if all of these mods here have made 7% of a difference. A little bit of a drum roll. Boom! 4.5%. What? Huh. So not quite 7. We didn't get everything we were hoping for. But... Not bad. That's an extra 270 seconds of time that could be spent working. And for the first time ever, I saw 0.2% idle time. You lazy duplicates. Although that was only in one run. You can see the amount of chores that were removed, though. That was 831. So unlike the other ones, they were actually they were doing more. They were doing more. But still, I think there's more that we can get out of these dupes.
but we're going to have to dig into that to-do list and priorities and oh yeah. Yeah. And what about transit tubes? I don't know. I don't know. Write it up down there. Let me see what you guys come up with. Spark some ideas. Together, we're going to work through these ideas. We're going to process them. We're going to make them. And we're going to make these dupes super efficient. So there you have it, guys. Let me know what you thought about it down there in the comment section below. How can we make this better? We're going to work through these ideas. We're going to develop them, and we're going to make these duplicates super efficient. If this seems like the type of channel you're interested in, consider hitting that subscribe button. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, hopefully, I have earned it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar out.